Hey, thank you for joining uh, PCH Multimedia at NAM 2020. We're at Austin Microphone Company here at NAM, and I have the pl wonderful pleasure of talking with Richard about their microphones. Um, Richard, thank you so much for joining me today. Ah, it's an absolute pleasure. Really, really is a pleasure. Now, judging by your accent, I'm assuming that these are actually made someplace really interesting and wonderful that everybody in audio respects. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty interesting and wonderful. So, Aston Mics, we're a, a UK manufacturer of microphones. <laughs> We've only been doing it for four years, but we make all our mics in the UK. And we only make four of them. We put a lot of love into everything that we do. And they're very, very unique looking. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the, the different types of uh, microphones that you offer here? Yeah, certainly. So these are the four mics we make. So we make three condenser mics. So condenser mic one, two, three. And we also make the Stealth, which is our only dynamic mic. So you've got two different kinds of microphone technology that we generally use. Three condensers and one dynamic. That's great. So, so talk to us a little bit about some of this unique design characteristics of these mics because I'm noticing you've got a very different uh, a cap condenser protection yeah. and some very stout, heavy-duty designs. I mean, this thing looks like uh, something from science fiction, number one, uh, that would be used in battle scenes somewhere. Uh, so I, I'm assuming it's really rugged. Yeah. Talk to me a little about that. So when we had a chance to redesign a microphone, which is what we tried to do four years ago, we looked at what had traditionally been done with mics, with standard mesh heads which were just there to protect to protect the capsule we decided we could do it in a better way we decided a standard mesh head wasn't that great so we developed this waveform head which protects the mic a lot better i can give it a whack put it out of shape move it back it's always going to protect the capsule which is the expensive delicate thing inside it's never going to get anywhere near it. So it's one of the ways that we've redesigned microphones. We've taken a new look at it. We've gone, you know, we can do that better. Just because it's been done the same way for 80 years doesn't mean to say we should be doing it now. Right. So that's why our mics look different. And uh, some people think that they're pretty cool. I awesome. certainly do. Awesome. So innovative British technology. So good roots. Yeah. Great new uh, innovative approach. Yeah, and, and we, we want to make our mics accessible to as many people as possible. And there's uh, too many mic companies who will try and sell you a mic for two thousand dollars three thousand dollars four thousand yeah. dollars we make the origin for 299 map you know wow. our most expensive microphone is the spirit at 449 map and that's as expensive as it gets with us and this is, these are world-class sounding mics mm -hmm. we are confident you can put our mics up against anything and you'll go yeah those aston mics they you know they really hold their own yeah they're actually uh, you were mentioning to me earlier uh, some of the musicians have been that have that have showcased and used your mics uh, is there any of those that you yeah yeah, we, talk about we've got bit. some great people. We've had Slash that has used our mics. Tom York is using our Origin on his guitar amp at the moment. Mm. We've got Noel Gallagher uh, recorded all the vocals for the last High Flying Birds album on a Spirit. You know, these are guys who have got access to the best equipment in the world. It's yeah. so vintage mic lockers. They can spend thousands, and they chose our gear yeah. because, not because it was expensive or anything like that, just because they actually preferred it to anything else that was out there. Yeah, yeah. And we couldn't have been prouder when those guys decided they were going to use our gear. Yeah, robust, roadworthy. Yeah, very roadworthy. Awesome design. You can't drop other people's mics yeah. on the floor. <laughs> I would have I'd have a heart attack you if you drop them on my mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just, yeah, just move it back into position. You wouldn't do that with anything else. So you could literally have like a sword fight with these things or yeah. Uh, yeah, play cricket. Let's not do it now. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm saying you could. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So then I noticed that some of these mics, you know, obviously making these for different purposes, different, uh, you know, kind of flexible characteristics and things. Do you talk about some of the, the nuances between these microphones yeah, certainly. what's available? Now, when you talk about what microphones you're using with, in front of what source, yeah. at Aston, we're very clear that we do not say, this is our vocal mic right. this is our drum mic we don't say that we say these are the tools we've given you please experiment use them on whichever source you want yep. and if you get great results you get great results that being said we do have starting points for people so dynamic mics like our stealth generally very good in front of sources that are, are very loud yep. very loud sources which might distort a condenser mic um, the, the stealth will handle those and we've also put four different voices on this stealth so we've got two vo vocal voices we've got um, a setting for guitar and we've got a setting for drum uh, for uh, which is a recreation of a vintage ribbon mic mm. now these are just starting points and we never we never dictate how our mic should be used so I know a lot of people use our V1 
one, which is the sound we suggest for male vocals, as a kick drum mic. I also know a lot of people use V2 as a kick drum mic. Um, the guitar mic is a hi-hat mic. The guitar sound is a hi-hat air mic. All sorts of different things. The stealth, so the spirit, was produced to be predominantly a vocal mic, a studio vocal mic. Sounds amazing. We never thought that Slash was going to use it in front of his Marshall caps. <laughs> You know, it was great when we found out he did. Uh, the same with the Origin. This was generally uh, designed to be a vocal mic, but has become a real favorite in front of guitar cabs as well. Tom York's using it in his, Wes Borland from Limp Bizkit, using it as his guitar mic, and loads of people are using it for vocals. Yeah. Um, our Starlights are our small diaphragm condenser. A little bit more accurate in their pickup, so if you want to really capture what something sounds like without the lovely enhancing features of other other mics, this is why you use a Starlight. So great in front of an acoustic guitar or in front in, inside a grand piano, something where you want some accuracy. Gotcha. So, so, so these are just starting off points. We say experiment with our mics, see what you get. Yeah, so you've got basically some microphones that uh, some a little bit more flexible, similar looking in design, but yeah. more adding of character versus more uh, accurate. Absolutely. And uh, so you can you have basically uh, all of the flavors of microphones that you would need to have in your locker Absolutely. here on the table. We have have accurate mics, right. we have absolute character mics, yep. which are imparting their own sound and making things sound better. And then we have the stealth, which is with these multi-voices, which can do everything. Really, yeah. we, we, we like to think that the Stealth is the most versatile mic in the world because it has these different voices and you can put it in front of anything. But everything sounds different, all our mics sound different, and if you, whatever you're recording, you'll get a different result depending on which microphone you use. Now, one of these had a laser on it. Yeah. Which I think... We like lasers. Yeah. <laughs> Not just for strapping to the top of sharks. Yeah, the Starlight. <laughs> because this is a more accurate mic and, yeah. and people sometimes use it as a distance from the source, some yeah. people want to recreate settings that they had. We put a laser beam on it, which comes out of the front there and is great for checking the direction the mic is going to. Gotcha. So we have people who love this for drum overheads, where they want to make sure that both mics and a stereo drum, head, uh, drum overhead pair are hitting the exact same point on a drum, whether that be the snare drum or one of the toms. Getting the sound absolutely in phase. If you want to re recreate a microphone setting you did in a grand piano, you know, uh, Elton John's coming back to, re to redo some piano party did. You can use the star lights and the lasers and you can make sure they're pointing at exactly where they Spot were the last on. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. So then, uh, obviously, some of these microphones are, uh, you know, rather large, right? Yeah. Very, very stout, very well yeah. built. What are some of the accessories we have uh, available also to kind of help support this? I mean, I, in my in my Neumann, I uh, I spent as much for my shock mount yeah. as I did for one of your microphones. Uh, yeah. And obviously, so this is great value. Uh, outside of these here, what, what else is available to us? Well, we do four accessories to go with that right. microphone range. The one that most people will have seen is our Halo uh, personal yep. vocal booth, which is yep. our hyperbolic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. reflection filter that is class leading and is pretty much around the world considered to be the best of that kind of thing you can get. We also have a shock mount, our universal shock mount, which is called the Swift. The Swift will take any microphone with a diameter between 40 and 60 millimeters. Uh, we have a pop stopper, which is uh, on a gooseneck. We call the Shield GN or Shield Gooseneck. And then we have a combination of the Shield and the Swift, which we call the Swift Shield, which is the shock mount with a shield that can clip onto the front of it. So multiple so we have mounting options yeah. and it's it's whatever. And then I, I must say, after looking at all of those uh, pieces of gear, uh, every one of them is as unique and cool as the microphones themselves. Very, very, very interesting designs on all of it. Very yeah, top well, notch. Well, we try. You know, we try. We're a British company. We're trying to be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's not you always nailed easy. nailed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a high bar, my friend. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Well, Richard, th thank you so much for this. Uh, you know, being here at NAMM, kind of thinking about you know, where, where can anybody outside of this venue go learn more, see your products? Uh, is there anything new on the horizon or anything that I just haven't thought to ask you about we that we should cover? We always have something new on the horizon. Yeah. As you can see, I read of microphones now is not the biggest. We won't be bringing out lots of mics, but when we do it, it'll be an event. 
Um, we will have another mine coming out probably later on in the year. Uh, the best place to find more information about our gear is on AstonMikes.com. Aston Mikes, okay. If you're in the US, the Aston Mike distributor is Yorkville, but you'll find our mics in all the major music shops, Guitar Center, Samash, Vintage King. Um, and if you're around the world, go and see your lo local music shop and they should stock Aston Mikes. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Richard, thank you very much. No really problem. appreciate your time today. Uh, I look forward to uh, trying you guys out and uh, look forward to seeing what you guys bring to next year's NAM. Excellent. See you next year. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.